Welcome back to the Brandon K Show. I am your host, as always, Brandon K, and this is a real show. And today I'm here with a very special guest. We're going to have a lot of fun. I'm here today with one of my favorite TikTokers, aka V, <laughs> artist, musician, and she brought her uh, guitar friend to <laughs> to a, a, a company our music today we're gonna make music today john pollock yeah john can have claps too absolutely yeah because uh, you don't want me to play guitar <laughs> so i mean i want me to play guitar either <laughs> i mean i invited vanessa and i said hey uh, come on the show and let's make some freestyle music so make a freestyle song she reluctantly agreed <laughs> And then she got John to reluctantly agree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and here we are. And now we're going to, yeah, we're going to do freestyle music on the Brandon K Show. I'm very excited. AKA V, you make a lot of um, YouTube videos about your songwriting process. Yeah. Tell me about it. Um, I mean, it depends with who I am. And I'm honestly experimenting this year with different ways to write. Uh, but usually I start with the chord progression. So no, I do not get melodies sent out of nowhere to come to me. Um, I usually start with chord progression. No, actually, that's not true. I first start with the concept. So I have like a list of concepts. Sometimes I write lyrics, but most of the time it's just like, I know what the, the, I want the song to be about and what I want like the chorus and the verses to feel like. And then that's where I start um, bringing that to somebody that's going to play guitar and or anything else. Sometimes I start with the bass. And yeah, and then we just kind of like brainstorm you, ideas. You always start your songwriting process just with a concept only, not with a melody, not with a lyric. Nope. Just a concept. Melody comes after the chord progression. Okay. And then John, we were talking about you get inspired sometime. Music just comes into your head, like the full melody. Yeah. Uh, basically, the way I write, I'm very uh, methodical, meticulous, uh, slow pathway when I write a song. And so... Uh, Two ways it happens. One is that I screw around on the guitar, I get kind of a vibe, and then I start picking it apart, and it goes through you know a number of iterations uh, before it becomes something. The other way is like messages from God. I don't know how else to describe it. Um, but there, there's one time where I was uh, dry on a road trip, and it like came out of nowhere. I was just like listening to a podcast, and it was like incoming message. <laughs> and uh, and it's a type of thing where I just like I'm like I gotta communicate this, and so I, like I picked up uh, Facebook Messenger and just started like talking into it, and my friend got like a ten minute like rambling of some crazy guy <laughs> getting a message. Podcast uh, <laughs> podcast can be very inspirational. I hope that this podcast inspires some art out of people. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> we're gonna inspire a lot of people here today. Yeah, well. Hopefully. We'll see about that. But it's interesting always to talk about the songwriting process because, you know, some people start with a concept. Some yeah. people are inspired with the whole vision. Myself, I'll come up with a couple lines and, I'll, and, and they'll rhyme and then I'll want to work from there. Yeah. So very different. it's very different. Today, well, today we're going to be pulling, song, we're going to be pulling concepts out of this hat and, um, and writing a song on the spot, trying to write a song or two on the spot. <laughs> Um, before we do that, and we talked about your YouTube, um, you're an artist. You you post uh, singles and videos of your music, like once every ne once every few months. I've seen that you had Prisoner. Yeah. Now, now you got yeah. Tough Girl Code out. Yeah. Yeah. And so um, keep it going. Mm hmm. So it's it's very awesome. Like it's awesome to see how you do it because you do it in like a very specific way where like you. You post a single and show it to everybody all at once. I'm not sure what you mean. Like a single, like a like you have one song out and you say, everybody go download my song, here's the video. Yeah. And then you make a bunch of videos about it, a bunch of TikToks yeah. and Instagrams about it. Yeah. Yeah, and that's awesome. Oh, okay. And and uh, <laughs> right like, now- It's like normal. Uh, right now, the, si the single yeah. is the Tough Girl Code. You want to talk a little bit about the Tough Girl Code? Um, available well, now on what Spotify or everything Reverb all Nation. streaming yeah all streaming platforms aka v tough girl tough code, girl code. Yeah. yeah yeah um yeah i basically i started working with different producers uh something changed last year i usually i used to write with my main songwriting partner and then we def 
decided to stop that relationship. Uh, so I was f- basically back to being by myself, which was like 10 years ago. And I was like, okay, like how do I re- how do I start the writing process now? Now, and- can I say one thing about this thing that just popped up on the screen? Is is that I was there. I oh. took this picture. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I, AKAV here, she wanted help graffitiing on a wall. And I, I, I came and I said, yeah. Yeah, yeah I posted on Instagram. Is there anybody is. available to do something a little wild tonight? Yeah, there you go. That, I took that picture. Uh, yeah. Okay, so anyways. And then, and then I did an interview on Instagram with you about what is the tough girl code. And you can say it again here. What, is, what does it mean, this tough girl code? Um, so when I was trying to reinvent my songwriting process, basically, I realized talking to a lot of different producers that I have a hard time just – like pro- wanting to promote a song that's slower. So something more like a ballad or something that's more vulnerable. I always feel like everything has to be like super heavy and, you know, kind of like the, the way I look. I always want everything to like look like I'm a tough girl. Um, and it just kind of like got me thinking and made me realize like I've been following this like tough girl code my entire life, not wanting to show emotions, thinking that you can just, you know, shove them in the back and it'll all be fine, being mean to people so that they're, they don't like, like you too much it's just yeah it's it's been a, a lifelong thing and i'm not saying that like it's bad uh some of it definitely needs to be healed but um it's just something that i realized and i was like let's write a song about it. actually the producer that i was with at that time nick was like let's write a song about it and he mm-hmm. he didn't force me but he kind of forced me to like write the chorus is very quiet and like just acoustic guitar and slow how i don't want it <laughs> Yeah, Just, you, you guys are going to hear in this song, I mean, it, what you're saying comes out exactly because you, you do the verses like, I walk in the club looking hard as yeah. fuck, <laughs> and then it's like really hard yeah. metal. I and say then the, hard, not hot. Everybody <laughs> thinks it's hot. <laughs> and then and then you, and then the choruses are like very soft and, and yeah. feminine. Yeah, that was the producer's idea. That's awesome. It all, <laughs> it all makes sense. And are you guys ready to play the Tough Girl Code? No, but we're going to go for it. <laughs> Hear what it sounds like. All right. See me on the streets looking hard as fuck. All the clothes and studded gloves. Collecting all my friends with my favorite drugs. Well, I'm the product of a stubborn drunk. I wonder why I wear this armor on my chest. Don't let anyone in because it's for the best. Open mechanisms are my best friends If you get any closer, call it self-defense I'd rather cut you first Before you cut me All my life I've been this way So what's the point in changing? Questioning all of my dreams Again I get to where I wanna be Repressing my emotions Cause everything's not what it seems On the inside it sounds like Shoving out my feelings really deep inside I will stop but then it is how you hide And who needs to feel this as a hell of a ride I step inside my world, show them my dark side Belly's fun in new ways to piss them off Emotionally damaged but I'm still on top Hard exterior cause inside I'm soft if think they can hurt me they better back off i'd rather cut you first before you cut me all my life i've been this way so what's the point in changing questioning all of my extremes i cannot get to where i want to be pressing my emotions because everything's not what it seems on the inside it sounds like Maybe I was so wrong Maybe I'm digging my grave Maybe I hate my own guts But I've always been this way Been stacking up the odds now Been cleaning up the mess Repressing my emotions Cause everything's not what it seems And on the inside It still sounds like On the inside It sounds like (laughs) <laughs> yeah interesting performing a song sitting yeah. down uh, yeah well yeah i mean this isn't the best conditions but that was an <laughs> awesome rendition we're happy to have it on the show 
And um, you can find that on all platforms. All Spotify. Platforms. Here's the paparazzi button. <laughs> <laughs> um, YouTube. Video. Huh? Instagram. TikTok. Spotify. Nation. It's a great song. We showed it. The lyrics are on point. <laughs> yeah. Go yeah. listen to it. So, yeah, and before we get into writing our own song, mm. <laughs> <laughs> writing the Brandon K and Vanessa and John song, um, I just wanted to say some things, other ways, the other things I've seen you do on social media, the 100 day challenges. Yeah. <laughs> the 100 day challenges, one of them being burpees. Oh, yeah. But another one being songwriting challenges. Are you currently in the middle of a 100 day challenge right now? No, I'm not. You did um, you did one where like you were practicing every day. I started one. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm at the point where I'm like, you're not failing until you quit, which I have not quit, but I had to stop because I got sick. Uh singing every day is is like it's something. So yeah, it was practicing and basically like there's a lot of things I want to work on song um not just songwriting, but like vocal wise. Uh and if I just go through the motion, I don't work on like, I want to learn to scream. I want to, I'm working on like support right now. There's like a lot of things I want to work on. And if you just go through the motion, like, oh, I have a show. I need to practice those songs. Mm -hmm. Or I'm like recording in the studio. I need to work on that. You just never work on these things. So that's why. But I. Well, it's always fun to watch you attempt 100 day challenges. Yeah. I also have fallen short of my 100 day challenges. But so you don't fail until you quit. Exactly. So. Exactly. There's no quitting. We're still here. We're still doing yeah. something. A hundred burpees was something. <laughs> you act, you got through it. You were doing. I don't even know, man. Like when I went on tour and mm -hmm. like I had to do it in the bathroom. <laughs> like, burpees are no no fun for anybody. Uh, in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, we were in a hotel. It was a weird hotel. Like when I went on tour, it was yeah. like there's uh, there's one like I had to hide in like a hallway to like do it at like two in the morning coming back from the show. Like it was just. She's committed. Wow. Yeah, I was. Yeah. I was. I, I, I applaud. Yeah. I it's applaud. really funny to go Where's in my, my story archives of where I was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yeah. But yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing more hundred day challenges, more songwriting. Um, yeah, that songwriting showcases. That songwriting challenge that I did was ten songs before Christmas. So basically, ten songs in sixty days. And that's why. I even in I thought maybe you come up with them faster than like because because you were coming up with them so fast, but you they all started with a concept, and and you they had all, that challenge. They yeah. all started differently, and that that's was the point. The thing, it yeah. was to push myself to write in a way that's out of my comfort zone. Mm -hmm. So because like what I was getting doing what I was doing wasn't what I liked. If I don't like push myself to get out of my comfort zone, like I can write country songs. Like fucking, okay, like, it's just it's. Country and, songs? Yeah. Okay. Like everything it, that I write sounds either out, that's pop what comes or country. Out na natural. Yeah. But that's not what I like. Okay. okay. So it's just like, why am I writing this? Uh, so I was like pushing myself to start differently. You don't like pop music either? Like I mean, I don't mind it once in a while, but that's not what I want to do. Okay. Yeah. It's really not my thing. <laughs> so So what songs did you come up with in that challenge? Do you remember the names? Uh yeah, I actually like introduced some French mm. uh into it. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a few, like, Yesterday on Replay. Um, some of them, I didn't name them, to be mm -hmm. honest. Um, one of them, I called them Mia Song, and I actually pushed myself to write about something that I was, my dog who passed, mm -hmm. that I wasn't comfortable, and, like, I cried multiple times on that YouTube video. <laughs> um, yeah. Rough. Yeah. Dog is rough. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, there's, I mean, there's a few. You can see this all at AKAV Music on YouTube. There's two YouTube videos up so far. Oh, on yeah. that channel? Yeah. Okay. It, the rest is coming once. And then you had all those other singles on other channels somewhere. Too. No, no, no. It's all it's all on the same channel. Oh, I thought you said there's only two videos. Uh, videos of that song right Okay, series. gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So you know, like of, all my music of, videos and stuff is there. Lots of music videos yeah. on AKAV Music YouTube. Yeah. And now it's time. <laughs> <laughs> For the Walk to the gallows. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time for the songwriting, the songwriting challenge. We're gonna sit here and freestyle a music. I'm gonna pull a song out of the hat, pull a concept out of the hat. Yeah. And John's gonna come up with some music. <laughs> AKAV -A -A is gonna come up with maybe a melody or a hook. 
Okay. And I am going while while they're figuring out. I'm gonna write a, a verse, a rap verse of freestyle. Cool. Which is I think is the hardest part, coming up with the rap. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, but these all these concepts that are coming out of this hat, these are titles of my show that I've done over the last few months. Most of these are directly, um, in the, most of these are directly titles from the show. You wanna who wants to pull out the the concept? Here we go. I did not. I didn't do anything to uh, rig this in any way. Life story. Life story. So I did an episode like. Very vague. Hold on. Oh, I did a, an episode. That is one of the vaguer ones. I did a one called with my friend Crow, a tattoo artist, which was Crow's life story. So then this could be AKA V's life story and Brandon's life story. Life story. That's like so big. Do you want to do another one? It's that was one of the worst ones I, I wrote. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, well, let's, let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Like, let's make. Let's do a quick. A quick. How you got here is an interesting story. Yeah, it's not a life story. It doesn't yeah. matter. Let's yeah. like. You know. It's on my arm. Oh, what does that? That's mean? That's the story of how I got here. What does that mean? Um, it just like started. You know, when I was like in my hometown, the French, and like believing in. It's weird. So like when you speak French and you're from a very small town, which there's no big city around. You feel like Hollywood is like in the TV and it doesn't come out of the box. It's like not a real world. Um, so that's the fairy part and like the believe and like. So for me to like get here, I first of all I had to learn English and move from Canada to here. It's it's been a process. Um, and so yeah, so basically like just my stuff like from when I was in my hometown dancing and then I did a few trips. Uh, from when you're on the East Coast, there's something in Canada that's very known as you go to. British Columbia and you go pick fruits, cherries mm. uh, during the summer. It's really cool. It's like you pick cherries in, in, the, in the beginning of the day and then you just go to the beach and party for the rest of the day after. Um, mm. And so a lot of people do that. So I did that. So that's part of it. Like BC was part of my… Are there my, cherries on there? Yeah. Cherry trees? They're, where are they? I think they're over here. <laughs> There's cherries and there's also grapes because I don't… It's like… Man… My life story is quite, kind of long. <laughs> you got like, a lot on I that I did arm. that, then I went back. Then I moved to Ontario, which is the English part, like right beside Quebec. Mm -hmm. Learned English. Mm -hmm. Then my life crumbled after a year. And I just packed my car and just lived in my car for a little bit and went back to BC to pick grapes because I knew that you could go make money there and it's wow. good money. Then I had a contract on like a snow um snowboarding resort for a bit and that's in between those grape picking <laughs> uh and uh that contract that i had two weeks with nothing to do and i'm like i'm just gonna drive to la for fun i appreciate you playing the music yeah with this this is this is this could be it right here but <laughs> wait let's let, let's keep it going keep it going and i was like, i'm just gonna drive to la i have nothing else to do and that's actually that little trip of coming to la living my car <laughs> that made me decide i'm gonna do music and so I went back to Canada, did my contract on a ski resort, and then moved to Toronto, started singing. And so basically my tattoo is all of that. You know, like this is my trip to What's here. What's the writing? Um, this is in Spanish. At one point I spoke better Spanish than English. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it says, Sueña tu vida. I'm just probably going to butcher it. Sorry mm -hmm. if you speak Spanish. Vives tus sueños en que en la vida en no te hindas jamás. Oh, that was horrible. It just means uh, dream your life. Live your dream, believe in life, and never give up. That's like an 18-year-old me that decided to put a quote on my arm. And but, then right you know. <laughs> under that, if you, nobody can see her tattoo on the show, but she's got a Hollywood Hills right there under yeah, that. So then she that, made it to Hollywood. And I decided this, I'm I'm doing music. So like that, that corner has like a very, it's, it's just another long story, but that has a very and then significant… music down the arm, music notes. Uh, yeah, so basically, this is the road to BC. And it turns into a guitar. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have Toronto in the back. Holy shit. Know. Did you design that? that that's crazy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've never yeah. seen someone's life story on their arm before. Yeah. That's, that's I mean, the life story stopped in 2015 because that's when I finished it on the sleeve. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I've got more skin eventually. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well. So that's the life story. It's already on my arm. Wow. Well. But I don't know how to put that in a song because it's a that, lot. Does that inspire you to <laughs> come up with a, a few words to? Yeah, I could come up with something. Um, actually, like when when I said my life crumbled, 
and I decided to like give up everything, it was probably the best thing that's ever happened to me because I was going in the wrong direction with my life. <laughs> yeah. Always turns out that way. Yeah. And then, you know, I felt like, I felt like the world was just like ending at that point and I just didn't care about anything and you know, you drive 40 hours by yourself in your car, like you don't care. Like you're sleeping at truck stop and you just, you know, you, you really don't care. Um, and yeah, that's just turned out, it turned out to be the best thing that's ever happened to me. So we Didn't could kind of like, that could be kind of like the, the thing. I actually, on that other channel that we were talking mm -hmm. about, I actually made a video about that story. <laughs> oh, just talking about it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like I made the whole thing of like explaining where I went and where I was and going down to LA and but um yeah maybe I'll eventually post it on AKV who knows <laughs> well that that's the part you know that's part of the, the fun of um uh of hearing artists stories you know? yeah hearing their stories where they came from why why do you do why do you do it yeah it's just weird like I had this thing where I didn't really know what I was doing with social media and I started this kind of like more edu ed educational, Jesus, that's hard to say, uh, channel. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of made more in an educational like way. Mm -hmm. So it's not like, what it's not really on brand for AKV, if that makes sense. So AKAV is describing that she has a music page with all of her singles and songs. And then she has another YouTube that I have I found and I was watching, which which you were doing educational videos. One one about the untethered soul, which is something we've talked about on this show, which is about the the voice in the head. Yeah. The the <laughs> the, the, the the bad roommate up. Yeah, and, up the in annoying the voice in your head that's yeah. always like <laughs> talking shit. So yeah. there, there's a whole book about the untethered soul, and you were you were breaking it down chapter by chapter in 2021, and I was sitting there. List, uh, listening to it while I was going through my own stuff and I was like this is awesome I love I love listening to this yeah it was great it was great for where I was at that point but you know like it's hard you can't do everything you just have to choose and I decided to like really just focus on music mm -hmm. yeah and and that doesn't mean that I don't you know bring those topics into my music yeah but it just don't like put it out there as like an educational thing yeah no that's that's i mean what there's would plenty you, of people doing that already what would you say about that here on the show what you learned about the voice in your head um that is like really it's in enlightening enlightening sure what's that word that's it you got it enlightening <laughs> uh, it's really yeah just to like realize that it's not you Mm -hmm. To realize that it's like separate from you and you can just be aware that it's there, but not you don't have to like actually listen to it and what it's saying. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's really, it's, it's really eye opening. How did it go on your journey before maybe you even knew that and, and you were breaking free from whatever things were troubling you in life and leaving your past life and coming here to California? Um, how did you break through that voice? Honestly, like even how I got to like Ontario and learned English, it's kind of weird. Like I didn't really know. It's not like I knew, oh, this is what I'm going to do. And then after that, I'm going to like, I'm going to learn to sing and this and that. It's just like, I just knew I wouldn't want, I didn't want to stay in my hometown. Mm -hmm. And I just moved. Like it's, I don't, it's hard to explain. It just. Right. And it was like, it was like a following, um, just it's like a knowing yeah, yeah just like it's just a knowing but like and then yeah uh like as much as sometimes like some things makes me uncomfortable i'm not really afraid of doing anything i mean i get you know like i'm scared of height but i'll still do things that like you know so it's like i just have that that drive and that like I don't care. I'm just gonna do it. Yeah, weren't you on like a 20 story building on one of your on <laughs> one of your Instagrams recently? You haven't seen the worst of it. Of like that was e that was easy. That was just like I was sitting in a corner and the feet in inside. Looks, yeah. But I did another one with the videographer where I was sitting my feet on the other side with like dangling in the air. And I was scary. like, oh my god, that scary to me. That was like a big tall building in L.A. Yeah, yeah, downtown. All right, did you come up with a little riff over there? You want to? You, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's hear the riff. Now we're gonna try to. We're gonna listen to John's riff. Uh, we're gonna listen to John's riff. <laughs> all right. We're gonna come up with stuff. I feel like you could start like okay. I always like to try to like 
have verses and choruses. Like, I feel like verses could be sad because it's telling a story. And then, what could choruses be? I mean, we're not writing a full song because, like, the yeah, bridge would we, be the whole actually, full part. We have not. We don't have much time left. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but just try the hook. Just okay, try the okay, hook. So just the, try the, the hook. Of course, could be the whole part. I was gonna turn into a country song. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I mean, why not? It's not going to be rap at all. That's the problem. How are you going to rap well, no, over that's, that? What I do is he would just keep playing that and I would just go, yo. I'd rap over what, what you, I'd rap, rap over the same melody that you're singing. Okay. Okay. I'm doing is uh, e, e G D okay. and then E G E G uh, D again and then then I finish off with C. If you want me to simplify? I can just stick with the E G D. No, that's fine. Okay. I just gotta like expect. I have to wait for you to change the chord to know what to tell where I'm going. So whenever I write, I, I listen to the chord progression over and over and over again until my brain knows what's coming next, Let's so that I can write a melody. Can and you that do takes it without time. Words, just like da, da, da. That's what I'm doing right now, yeah. but it takes time. Like it's like I forget what he just did. I'll keep it simple and just. Yeah. Okay. Like, that's how I would, like, start. And I would record that on a voice memo. Yeah, yeah. Go and for then it. Go I would pull out sit... your phone and record it on voice memo. Well, then I would sit... <laughs> no. Then you listen to more. We don't have time for that. So you're going to have to help me. You're going to have to be my producer. And, and what does that look like? Um, They, like, if, like, if somebody wants me to come up with the melody on the spot and remember it, like, they help me sing it. Okay. So whether there's a songwriter in a room or the producer is right, a songwriter got? itself. So, like... Uh, because I'm, I don't like the way I write. So like, I like when people add rhythm to it. Okay. Which rapping is usually pretty good for that. So maybe you can try to like change it so it's not, na, 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 na. you know what I mean? Like so like every lo note is like elongated, and I hate that about uh -huh. my songwriting. Okay. So I always try to add rhythm to it so that I like, cut it off a little bit. Does that make sense? A little bit. Let's see. Okay. So he's playing. <laughs> he's he's saying. Okay. Here's what I'm doing. Oh, All right. you're doing it. <laughs> All right, he, he's playing. He's playing his song. All right. He's adding adding rhythm. Jumping in my car, life story on my arm. Even oh, I <laughs> jumping in my car, life story on my arm. But I'm reaching for the stars. Even if I got fear in my heart, with the knowing, no idea where I'm going. Not sure if I care. Underprepared. Even if I'm stared, I am getting there. Nice. I mean, 
that. I came up with that in three minutes, so I could do better, but. Well, that was pretty good. Walk up in the club looking hot, write it on the spot till I'm signing on the dot. I feel like my part could be like the chorus and your part is the verse. That's what, I, that's what it was, yeah. Oh, okay. That's what, that's what it always was. Oh. You can do something oh. where you like you wrap out the verse and then you just hum this like yeah. it doesn't that's even have I, to have that's words what I was to hearing it. Too, just yeah. just this like really Yeah, like spacey, thing. like yeah. Mm-hmm. That's here we go. always what I come up with. Okay, here we go. And these are like this is like three different verses here. So it's kinda like I'm doing my verses, you're doing your humming, and then and then I do another verse, you do your humming. Jumping in my car, life story on my arm, but I am reaching the stars, even if I've got fear in my heart. What? I missed that part. I thought I was just humming while you're rapping. Oh. <laughs> Rap, then hum. Rap, then hum. What? Rap, oh, okay. then Jumping in okay, my okay. car, life story on my arm, but I'm reaching for the stars, even if I got fear in my heart. <laughs> With a knowing, no idea where I'm going, and not sure if I care. I'm underprepared, but even if I'm scared, I am getting there. <laughs> Hollywood Hills, walk up in the club looking hot. And I come on Brandon Keisha, write it on the spot. And I'm going to do it till I'm signing on the dot of the music industry. Because I'm blah, blah, blah. Didn't sound like country. Doesn't sound like rock either. <laughs> what does it sound like? I don't know. Pop? Did we make a pop song? <laughs> it depends on the instrumentation that you add behind it, but like usually I come up with melodies that if you add country instrumentation behind it it mm. sounds country well you know we just came up with that in three minutes so you know we gotta give ourselves a round of applause, round of applause. <laughs> do, 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 do. oh i have <laughs> good oh my god did you, did you like our song i i mean it's not bad i don't know how am I going to feel about hearing it back? Uh, <laughs> for on the spot, on the fly, with zero preparation. Yeah. I, I met you an hour ago. Yeah. I got together with you yesterday. <laughs> I mean, for us to kind of like throw down something. It, Yeah, I'd be interested to see what happens after working on it for a week. It might actually turn into something. Yeah, we didn't mention that. Uh, we didn't Walking mention in that. a club looking uh, hot. <laughs> Like, Walk oh up God. in the club and I'm hard yeah. as fuck. <laughs> Just a couple of broad strokes on a. Canvas. So no, but we didn't mention John's story here. Is that you just got into town? Yeah. 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 I moved here on a Saturday and uh, came from New Hampshire. What brings you to Hollywood Hills? Uh, uh work, music. <clears throat> so <clears throat> no. <laughs> <laughs> he moved here for music. He could have worked where he was. <laughs> Uh, he's actually a doctor, uh, just yeah. so he. It took a while for him to get his medical license mm-hmm. uh, in California. Now yeah. he's got that and it's starting to work. And then he's got, he wants to put a band together, so yeah. he's actually looking for a singer. And that's how we met. Um, I auditioned for. Uh, he's got how many? 18, 19 songs recorded already with no vocals. Um, yeah, they're. Pretty fucking good. Uh, and oh, sorry. <laughs> and that was part of my like trying to write differently. Um, but I knew, I knew I wasn't like, you know, like I'm not a heavy rock singer at all. Like my voice is very, you know, soft and angelic. Um, but I was like, I'm gonna try it just for fun. So I recorded, I recorded demos over uh, some stuff that he recorded with a friend of ours. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, it was a lot of fun. And then uh, didn't turn out. 
to be the sound he was looking for uh, that I kind of knew but it was fun to write songs anyway um and then it just kind of became friends from since then yeah awesome but he's still looking for a singer by the way <laughs> just putting it out there <laughs> for for metal music yeah imagine um I don't know like Godsmack Avenged Sevenfold Volbeat Metallica got together for a barbecue <laughs> where can they find you to if they want to sing on your song um, I guess best starting point would be my Instagram, which is uh, Johnny P nine nine six J O N N Y P nine nine six, and then uh, I can direct people to wherever my stuff is. So I'm still I'm still like putting it out there and, and getting it compiled because well, been here thank two you, days. Thank you for joining <laughs> us. Thank you for joining us, John. Oh, thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Welcome, welcome to the Brandon K Show. I mean, now that the show's over, but <laughs> <laughs> thank you for being here. I appreciate that. <laughs> thank you, AKAV. Can I say your real name? Sure. Thank you, Vanessa. Can you try to say my last name? <laughs> Hibault. <laughs> oh my God. That's, that's always the best. It's actually pronounced Uno. <laughs> <laughs> that was my second choice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I forgot your last name. But that's I, I can never pronounce. Okay, <laughs> so there you have it, the Brandon K show. We're we're doing freestyle all throughout May. I'm freestyling with different people. Nice. Thank you for this freestyle here. This is a, a songwriting attempt, which I think went fairly well. Let's. What do you think? One out of ten. For for like what to expect on the fly, I would give it like an eight. There's an eight on the yeah. fly. I'm gonna give it a ten on the fly. Now we got we got high. And then <laughs> like, I'm like, I have high standards. Like a two. I was going to say three. <laughs> three. Okay. Three is higher than two. I, I mean, we're not going to be like getting a Grammy from it. No. <laughs> it takes, it no. takes time. It takes yeah. time. But thank but you. But I do like to start with the instrumentation. So yeah. That's what, yeah. Cool. You guys you got the. Yesterday we basis. were writing stuff and like, yeah, it has to be kind of like the groove has to be yeah. there. Yeah. You know, so yeah. Absolutely, it's it. I, I was saying, I'll say before we leave here is is that uh, I come from a musical improv background where we just someone's just making it up on the spot and we're completely creating a whole musical right there that night. So the the bar is much lower than a studio produced yeah. album. Yeah. So I mean, but for me, we did awesome. Um, <laughs> continue to watch the Brandon K Show. Go find v v Vanessa, aka V at um, AKAV Music on YouTube and at the Instagram below. Go find John P Pollock at uh, Johnny P. 996. 996. 69, <laughs> Random number. Just 69, sounded good. 69, 69. <laughs> and thank you for joining us, everybody.